present. I just wanted to tap in with y'all quick fast, right? Something been on my mind. Been having a couple conversations with individuals, right? And I really see that um, people, especially blacks, especially our, our black people, people are so opposed to credit, right? People are so opposed to credit that they be so blindsided that they think they know what credit is. And I'm being honest with y'all, 70% of y'all don't know what credit is. To understand credit, right, is is it's pretty much is is pretty much like anything else. You gotta understand the lingo, you gotta understand the ins and out in and outs, right? But when it comes to actual cryptocurrency stocks, right, versus credit. That's what I want to chop it up about. Crypto versus in stocks versus actual credit. Now, I had a conversation with a lady just now. Oh, I forgot where she was from. And her thing is is pretty much that she been with her stocks, with her investing in stocks and doing and you know doing well, that she don't have to have credit. Now, sorry if it, if it sounds like I'm stumbling. I'm trying to get the story up. Um, she said she she I go buy my house and and you know with my stock money. I don't need credit. <sighs> Listen, I'm gonna break it down nice and simple for y'all. Right? When it comes to credit versus the stock that she's talking about, right? You go buy your house with that with, with your stock money. You go buy your house, right? You have to pay all cash. You balling. You got that amount of money? Hey, be my guest. What I'm trying to say is, how can you compare that to credit, right? Now watch me. With credit, you go and get that house with your stock money. That's it. You 150000 straight cash. You give it to them. That's it. Ain't no money being made. Or, unless you go and get that house, to actually make residual income on it, you're just losing. You're just getting something in return for money, right? But as opposed to credit, right? Let me show y'all something. You don't have to pay no money. You got loans where you got 3% down, damn man. You pay damn man no money. You could put 3% down. You got some of them you could put 10% down. With that being said is Credit I can put you on my credit line Right? Good credit niggas I can put you on my credit line Every Six months And get $6,500 off that That's one person Two people in a year That's 12 bands That's 13 bands Thirteen thousand dollars off of just having good credit, not 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 doing anything, or just having good credit can allow you to add individuals to your credit line, right? Which is legal, is not illegal, so y'all won't get it. It's very legal. Add you to my credit line, boost your score, a hundred points, hundred and twenty points, one fifty, hundred and fifty points. Boost your shit, pull you off of my credit line after the six months. Add somebody else on. You can't do that with stock. You can't do that with crypto. All it is stock and, and, and crypto is is hustling in a blind. They say, oh, well, I got the charts and I've, I've been watching how it's been doing for the past 10 years. And, you know, I made X amount of money. And yeah, but all that shit can just blow the fuck up. I don't know how the security works with crypto and the stocks or whatever. If you get your stuff back, if the place crash or if the company, I, I don't, you just lose my, I don't know it. That's like rolling dice. I, I take my chance right now. You see what I'm saying? And go to the casino and play blackjack. I'm a blackjack nigga. Play blackjack and go to the trap and play dice. Something's really wrong with the average citizen's head. The way they thinking now is like they, they, they brainwashed us to not think about credit. 
like, 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 especially us, it's like credit. Oh God, every time I talk to somebody about credit, or they like, oh, no, no, hell no, you tripping. I done fell out with a friend because she told me, I don't know. Oh, you tripping, you got how many accounts? Oh, people like us, we can never manage those um, that amount of account, uh, accounts. You're gonna go in the hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. I say, don't put me in the same bracket as you. People like us, what the hell did you mean by that? People like us. Black people, you mean? Because we're not talking about a skin color right now, me and you. We're talking about a. She says, that blew my shit, right? It just fucked me up. But anyway, I don't really see the the, 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 the security behind. Like, like I was saying, I have a CD account for my son. And I don't. That's a, that's an add-on. That's that's you know that's a, a add-on to to the repertoire to the profile. That's not something I'm banking on, right? Like people bank on these things. You gotta understand. You got people that bank on these things. That like this is their priority. Like they put their money into this and they banking on this to blow up in a couple years or if they pull it, you know whatever if they if the type of pull off as soon as it blow up and put back. I don't know, but it, it's. It's real crazy to me that people won't try to do. Now, as I was, as she was ending the live, she was basically saying that um, her credit score is so bad, and she can't even think in this lifetime of getting her credit score back because it's just so bad. So now I'm like, okay, that that made more sense. But I was ending, I was I'm going out of the live when I caught that. So I'm like, that makes a lot more sense. Like. You should just kept it a buck and, and said that from the beginning. Like, hey, look, I can't, I'm not really tripping on that. I got, you know, stocks going on and I'm doing pretty well. I could just buy my own house. I would have respected that. But people bash credit so much and make it look like it's the, the, the fucking scum of the earth when it's just straight cut and narrow. You go to these people, they give you X amount of money and you pay X amount of money back. What the fuck is the ripoff? People are so messed up in the mind. Let me show you something. This is how the workers' mentality, how they manipulate people. People are so messed up, right? That they'll complain about seven dollars, little annual fee, maintenance fee, maintenance fee five dollars. People complain about that, getting hit with those fees, and oh my god, they keep hitting me with fees and. It's like, oh my God, are you realizing what the fuck you complaining about? Don't get me wrong. I'm the one that very understand, really understand that, yo, you know, $7 could be a meal. You know, when it comes to a family, a mother that works hard and busts that, I get it. But you can't have that mentality. Like people literally a, a bomb on something. They give you $100,000 and they say, hey, give, we give you this 100000 We want the $100,000 back and just give us $5,000 on the end. Oh my God, we have 5,000, a place up the block said they give it to me for that. They put people, other people prices on you. Like it's, the mentality is so polluted. So especially the nine to five mentality, not all of y'all, but the average nine to five mentality is, oh my God, that's too much money. How much is that? And it's like, it's so crazy, but that's what it pretty much amounts to when it comes to credit versus stock and, and, and you know, investing in stock and cryptocurrency. I really don't, you know, let me know if y'all agree, disagree, what y'all into, if y'all got your money into crypto, into me, I'm not playing with none of it. I'm going to play with some of that in the future, right? But um, like everybody say that, you know, that do well on it, and I'm going to listen to the people that do well. It, you can do, you can make some money off it by putting in a dollar, you know, fifty dollars or whatever. But you're not really gonna go nowhere, all right? So what are you doing it for? Are you playing around with that shit, all right? So if we all know that crypto and all that stuff is for the big money players that can go and drop ten bands in it, but let's not even say ten bands and go and drop a thousand dollars and you know on, on, on some crypto or whatever. And then you know the shit blow up overnight, so you got a nice little little boost. Even with a thousand dollars, you got thousand dollars. The shit boost overnight, spike three points or whatever. You fucking make what fifteen hundred, some shit like that. Is is is? I'm not. Listen, y'all. I'm not down to y'all. I'm not bashing anybody that's into it. I just want to get people to stop bashing credit. 
that's what I want people to do. I want people to stop bashing credit. I want people to understand that these people, and I'm not, not going to go in, people, uh, certain higher ups don't want the minority, don't want blacks to know about credit, don't want blacks possessing credit, don't want blacks to play around with credit. The way we think with credit is our trapper's mentality and survival instincts from the street, it causes us to play on a whole different level when we get into that shit. That's why you see Wall Street Trapper, him 500, you see all these individuals, when they get into that shit, they blow the fuck up. Because black people, we just think different. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. When it comes to credit, credit is not, let me repeat, credit is not a one-way thing. Credit is not about, oh, I build my credit to go and I, to go be able to get a house and a couple. No, 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 that's not what, credit is literally so thick it doesn't make no sense. It's so many different ways to make money off credit. Right, um, him five hundred. Shout out to him five hundred. He shows you how to go and um, liquidate credit cards and turn them to all cash. Right, so this same cash that they talking about from investing in stock or whatever the case may be is, hello, you can do the same thing with credit. Just gotta know how to do it. If you don't know about it, just like at the time I didn't know about it, right? And I always felt the same way that my aunts and every old credit. I'm gonna go with that. Uh -huh. Right? It gets handed down by generations. It gets, you know, it manifests within us. The, the, the next generation coming up, we're hearing that all the time. Credit, oh hell no, I'm not fucking with that. That shit is no good for you or whatever. And I just wish it would stop. Honestly, y'all, I just wish it would stop. I wish people can dig into credit a little bit more and learn it. Learn credit before you bash it. Bash it like it. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into um, detail a little bit more in the near future and break down certain things and um, actually show proof of my process and everything I got going on. Whatever the case may be, I'm just waiting for some things to drop. But um, to show y'all that yes, that shit is real. Shit is very, very much real. You can go and get money from these people, from the banks, right? And like I always say, when you get the money from the bank, you have you gotta have a plan. You gotta have a job to be able to pay it back. You gotta have a hustle on the side. You gotta have some your artist, some stream of money. You gotta have something coming in. You gotta have something coming in. Yeah. So with that being said, with that being said, I'm talking twelve minutes, good father money. If y'all still here by the time I end the video, I appreciate y'all. Just make sure y'all hit the comment box and let me know what type of time y'all want. Y'all want crypto time, y'all want investment time, stock, right? Or well, y'all yeah, believe in credit. Gotta believe in the credit. Believe in the seed. Yeah, jinx. Believe in <laughs> Believe in the seed. Yo, you know the model, man. Secure the bag, secure your family. Stay brings up. Who are y'all?